I, I broke into his house in Atlanta. I sold all the TVs, sold his furniture. I almost sold his Rolls Royce. Because I was like, yo, I want to do the music. But he didn't want me to. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just about to act crazy until you let me. So the deal was, so he finally caught up to me. I flew into Nigeria. And the army picked me up on the plane like this and took me straight to my father. So he was like, where have you been? Where have you been? I was like, I want to do music. I do not want to go to school. You can't force me to. He's like, okay, let's have a deal. I said, okay. Now you're talking business. Mm. So he said he will invest in my music career. He will build me a world-class studio. But I have to go to school. Like, okay, so if I go to school Monday, Mon Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'll stay that weekend. I'll do another week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I, I, I can go to the city every other weekend mm. to do the music. So I'm like... I was like, okay, he's gonna build me a studio. So I calculated that's okay. I'm gonna take the money, he's gonna build a studio. I'm going to school for like two months. And then when I shoot the video and blow up, I'm gonna run away again. <laughs> <laughs> so he shot me like at that time, like in Nigeria, like the most expensive music video. That's how I kind of like got into the industry. And people like knew that my dad had money and stuff like that. So he finally shot me the video. Um, then I shot the video and then dropped it. And then I remember I went to school because I had to go back after the weekend. So my friend calls me. He's like, ah. I said, well, what is happening? What is happening in this city? He said, bros, your song is going crazy. I said, eh? He said, all the girls are going crazy to your song. Ah. I'm in school, like, going crazy. Like, ah. like, how am I going to escape again? So, like, over time, like, and I dropped another song. This one's catastrophic. So I was, I was so, like, I couldn't even stay in school. Like, I, I couldn't even stay in class. Like, students were being distracted because I was famous, you feel me? So that's when I ran away again. Mm -hmm. So this time, <laughs> so imagine my dad, like, see me on billboards and shows, you know what I'm saying, headlining, and he was, he was send the police, send the army. If you're a fan, if you're a debut fan, if you buy tickets to my show, you're arrested. <laughs> it was crazy. Wow. So he, so police came like twice and they started messing up my business because everybody was scared to book me. Because if you book David do, there will be police at your show. So I now made a song called Dami Duro. And my Dami Duro in my language means you cannot stop me. So the lyrics of the song is Blaze said, and my Dami Duro in me, means, um, it means you cannot stop me. I'm the son of a rich man, but this is what I like. That's kind of the vibe. So I dropped that song. And the president of the country, that was his best song. So I was like, oh, I got the president on my back now. Like, the police, he said it to arrest me. He became fans. So they would come and arrest me. They were like, ah, David O? No, 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 no. So it got too big for him to come through. Um, so eventually, like, you know, we, you know, found out a way. Because my dad, I don't care if you be as big as Joe Biden. If you don't have education, my daddy will not respect you. That's him. He's a school guy. You know what I'm saying? So when I bring home 20 Grammys or 50 Grammys, that's not what he's looking for. I mean, did you go to school? So we found a way. I got my degree eventually because uh, I had to do like part-time school stuff. So I, got, I eventually got the degree. Uh, 2015, and then he just let me be. But yeah, he was was crazy. But now he's like the biggest fan. Like he's he loves my job. That's a good story, man. It's crazy. So why do you do what you do? Cause I don't need to, basically. 